Good morning, Gary, and welcome to Give Me Five. You're all the way from Scotland this morning. Now, Gary, we have all heard, or most of us have heard about Scotch pies. I'm a bit partial to a pie myself, apple pie, meat pie. What's your favorite pie? Oh, my favorite pie yeah. was always growing up a Wallace's pie in Dundee. A plain one or an onion one with brown <laughs> sauce. But in Dundee language, that would be a Wallace's pet and a nigger in an art with brown sauce. Brown sauce. <laughs> a lovely pie, which is full of connective tissue and lovely spices. Beautiful. <laughs> Sounds lovely. good. Everybody yeah. will be going out getting pies now. <laughs> and <laughs> Gary, I know you're into music. Now, do you remember the Reapers? I was in the Reapers, that band. And we actually came to Scotland. We went to Fife and Edinburgh and places like that. Did you remember us at all? I don't remember you, and I really should, because <laughs> that era where I went around all the Christian concerts. Yeah. yeah we should. And so, what music do you like? Who is your favourite band? My favourite band is yeah. uh, the band that's in search of the fourth chord, Status Quo. I love the three chord head down, no nonsense boogie. Yeah. That's my favourite band, but I've got such a diverse taste in music from Pink Floyd to proper opera, Covent Garden, country, uh, but even real gospel music and the contemporary rock music that came from Sanctuary Church in America, Pastor Bob, and all the different bands there, and Petra and uh, Striper. But my music taste is so diverse. I love music for, I like combining music with the gospel and speaking to people. And it's my passion as well as music. Yeah. I love Because often I find in the songs, the words can be quite powerful. And as you say, people like music, don't they? And often the words will speak to people through the song. Would you agree? Yes, I think that because yeah. even if you get a contemporary song, yes. you know, like Hollow Darkness, oh, my old friend, or you yeah. say, your time is up. You know, you can use different words of popular songs that can speak to people and that they pay attention and it just goes to their heart really speaks to them. Yeah. I what like about to Christian music? I love a lot of the contemporary stuff. Yeah. I like, I like Paul's stuff. stuff Good. Like, I like different stuff. I do like some worship, not, not a lot. I don't like some of what I call, it's more in my opinion, cheesy stuff. I like more of the arty, you know, it's hard to describe. Yeah. More, more in-depth stuff. I don't like just the normal pop stuff. Some of it is very good. Some yes. of it's very good. Yeah. But I find it hard to listen to a whole worship album unless it's a really good one. I guess that's what's good about music. There's all sorts of styles because we all have different tastes, don't we, at the uh, end of the day. So Gary, tell me then a little bit about your job. I manage uh, a lab in the medical school which uh, caters for uh, first, second, third year medical students to learn human anatomy. Okay. What I do is I manage the lab, set it up for them. I embalm and preserve uh, bodies that people leave as a gift, a precious gift to medical teaching. Mm. And it's such a beautiful gift because they're almost like silent teachers. Yes. And we call them their first, we, we, when the students start, it's my first patient. So I have respect for them. Yes. And I believe it's the only way to learn proper anatomy. Because if you learn that, that's oh, amazing the difference. Yes. Because if you don't use proper bodies, or just models, it's like sitting your driving test in the arcade and going out on the road. But whereas it's such a precious gift to learn proper hands-on anatomy, and I love my job, I yeah. love anatomy. Yeah, that's a, a good thing if you really enjoy your job. Now, Gary, saying that, I know that you are going to retire very soon. Now, you can't just give up, Gary. That would be letting them win, wouldn't it? So what do you feel God's got for you next to do? Well, I believe this is a new season and I've always had that in my heart, prophecy after prophecy, God spoke to me about preaching to the nations, about evangelism and uh, writing books. 
Yes. And I always knew it was later on in life because when I first got prophecies, they would go out in the streets and I'd feel no anointing whatsoever. <laughs> you know, it wasn't good. But now I know it's always been burning in my heart. God's put so much in my heart to share, to see the gospel preached with power and to see people set free. And I want to work also with people, maybe part-time with mental health issues, with addictions, yes. and to see them set free properly, you know. Because God wants to set people free from yeah. those things. So yeah. you would be a really good person to yeah. help them. And coming from a medical background as well, you would have that insight. So yeah. that would be really good. And I really pray that God blesses you in this new chapter of your life. So Gary, tell me, what is your favorite Bible verse and why? Oh, my favorite one is the one I got at my baptism. I couldn't believe it when I heard that because it's my favorite scripture. Okay. It's in Ephesians 1, I think it's 17, and it says, May the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation, that you may know him better, that the eyes of your heart may be flooded with light, and uh, that you may know what is the, the his glorious inheritance in the saints and his incomparable great power towards those who believe. And I say every morning, I keep praying. Lord, give me more wisdom, give me more knowledge with understanding and discernment that I may know the hope of my calling. What, you know, she's got such a passion for it. Yeah. And I can feel it flowing out all the time. And I've got to just keep my eyes focused on God and make sure I'm listening to Him and walking and talking with Him. Yeah. I'm just excited, very excited. I can See, tell. Just, <laughs> and, and Gary, that's a really good prayer to pray. So thank you so much for joining me on Give Me Five, Gary, please. Give me five. Yay. <laughs> okay. uh, Gary, you've been a pleasure and joy to interview. Thank you for joining me on Give Me Five this morning. God bless, Gary. Thank you.